Meanwhile, President Biden is heading to New York today, but he won't be making a stop in Manhattan, where, as you just saw, massive anti-Israel protests have been erupting for days now. He's going to be going over 250 miles away to Syracuse to campaign on the economy. Dr. Fahad Saad is a business owner in Syracuse and a neurologist, and he joins me now. Fahad, good morning to you. So you own a restaurant called Pita Dream. It's in Syracuse. And you said that you're concerned about the president's visit. Tell us why. That's right. Thank you so much for having me. So the president's visit was announced quite suddenly. Just yesterday, we were informed that the streets in front of our business would be closed for about 12 hours, right, during our peak uh, breakfast and lunch hours. So once we received this news, we had to cancel all third-party delivery services. Uh, as you know, they, we, we need transportation to get for, for um employees of Uber Eats and DoorDash to come in and park their cars in the front and grab the food. So uh, that's a major source of our sales at Peter Dream. So this will be a financial hit for us. Wow. And you say that you're not just concerned about your business, you're also concerned about your employees making money as well. That's right. So we, we had to inform some of our employees to kind of stand by. And we've got, uh, we employ a lot of local high school students uh, hoping to earn some extra money during spring break. Uh, that can yeah, that should and will take off today, unfortunately. So uh, you can imagine as uh, as challenging to keep a small business running these right. days, uh, this uh, disruption will add to our challenges. Well, the president will be making remarks on the Chips and Science Act later today in Syracuse and how it's benefiting uh, some of the people in your community. Is there anything else you hope the president addresses? Absolutely. I'm so glad uh, you brought this up because there's a huge larger issues that's been troubling us for months locally, globally, right? As a Palestinian American who believes in really putting America first, it troubles me to see funds go overseas. And, and, and this is what led to, to the term general, genocide Joe, right? Expressing frustration over our tax dollars being used in many ways to harm innocent people like people in Gaza. We should use this money here, fund our, our, our uh, VA system, ensure no one is without a home, supporting our police force, addressing significant issues like drug use, a mental health disorder, gun violence, especially since our city mourns the recent loss of two brave officers yeah. just last week. Yeah, that's right. And uh, the head of the uh, Syracuse Police Union is also concerned about this trip to Syracuse because he says because of the loss of those officers, other police officers are still in mourning. It's going to take a massive, of course, police capacity to make sure that the president stays safe. And, and they're just not sure that the police force right now is up to that massive task. Really quickly, because you do own a business, want to get to this brand new Fox News polling, Biden's handling of the economy, 38% uh, approve, 61% disapprove. How how is the economy impacting you when it comes to inflation as a, as a restaurant owner? Definitely. So I'm a physician and, and I still invest in, in America uh, and I'd love to see America investing in America. So we need to focus on helping people that we see every day. So why are we, since our economy is not doing the, gra the, the greatest, so why are we sending all this money overseas when we see people on the streets right outside our, our restaurant sleeping outside? So frankly, as a citizen, things seem much better under uh, President Tr Trump's terms mm. regarding our national priorities and how we manage our resources. Yeah. So sure, we can discuss all the difficulties that we are going to we are going to face in our business for today, but really there are huge, bigger issues at stake that affect our communities globally. And I really hope the president will prioritize these concerns right. yeah. and hopefully urgently stop this massacre of innocent civilians in Gaza. And bottom line for you and your uh, your bottom line is that you still want people to order from Pita Dream today. You just want to make sure that they understand that it's going to take a little bit longer because of the president's trip to Syracuse. That's right. We're open, and I hope some walk-ins come through so we can call all those students back to work. Dr. Fahad Saad, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. No problem. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.